hello my awesome audience you're welcome back to my channel so in this tutorial today i want to show you how to make use of terraform import in order to you know import your existing resources into terraform's management so basically terraform import is actually a command in terraform that allows you to import existing infrastructure resources into terraform state okay so this means that um, terraform imports can actually help you to manage your existing resources with terraform okay by bringing them under terraform's management without recreating them so here i have my ec2 instance that was actually deployed manually okay and so what i really love to do now is to bring it under terraform's management let's import this server okay so by bringing it into terraform's management i could actually um modify it with terraform i could destroy it with terraform basically make any change i want okay general management of this server is what i could do with terraform okay so yeah we can actually get started so in my vs code i just created a folder and i created this file inside the folder okay main.tf and providers.tf okay so uh inside providers.tf i have actually pasted i got this from uh aws provider okay from terraform registry but then I added profile equals to Helen because in my AWS I am I have a user called Helen with uh, administrator privilege. Okay, so um, I actually have other users, but um, it is this profile I want to make use of. All right. And then coming to our main.tf file, before you could actually go ahead to import existing resources, you need to uh, first of all define uh, the resources, you know in the configuration file so you don't just run terraform import without defining what resource you want to import so let's get started with that so here i have aws uh instance resource and i don't really need much i can just copy this right go back to my vs code and paste it over there now i'm going to replace my existing resource with uh you know the values i have here so some of the arguments need to carry exactly what i have there in my server or uh, just like the name the ami instance type okay so let's go over to aws so i'm going to click on this to get more uh information first of all the name of this ec2 instance is server one okay and then we need the the AMI ID okay so over here you could scroll down and see AMI ID okay so here I'm typing the name of my server as server one uh, for the AMI I'm just gonna replace it with what I copied, but this will be inside double quotes, okay? Instance type I basically use uh, T2 micro, all right? So I can get rid of this, all right? Of course, this is basically the uh, you know the basic requirement we need to get started with our import. Okay, so you, know, you can go ahead to define other um, arguments here, like other parameters. Okay, such as availability zone, um, key name, subnet ID, and other parameters that come under EC2 instance. Okay, uh, but let's just keep it so simple. So after defining this, I also have a security group that is at attached to this EC2 instance. Let's see that. Let me click on the security tab and this is the security group here. I'm going to click on this. So it is named default, right? And this is the VPC ID. So um, yeah, let's go over to VS Code. So here I have my resource block as well because we need to define that as well. So for every resource you want to import, you need to define the resource block for that so the name is default it is here already the name is default the vpc id 
Uh, let's copy the VPC ID from here. Then I'm going to paste it inside the double quotes. Uh, this is the description. So basically, it has just this uh, this port open, okay? It has port 22 open, and this is how you define your ingress rule, which is the inbound uh, rule, okay? Or the inbound traffic. And this is the egress rule, okay? This is the egress, which is like the outbound traffic, all right? So keeping it simple, I think this is what we basically need to get those resources imported. So right now, let me go over to my terminal. Open an integrated terminal. I'm going to expand this and I'll be using Bash. Great. So let's run our Terraform init command. Sorry. Yeah. So while we wait for this to initialize, I'm going to show you something interesting. So I have a good news here. My Terraform Associate Certification 003 is out on LinkedIn Learning, okay? This will actually help you to prepare for your Terraform Associate Certification exam. Just this morning, someone posted on LinkedIn that he is his Terraform Certification exam by just watching this course. And that got me so happy because uh, I've been receiving a lot of testimonials and all that, okay? So... Even if you are not ready to write the Terraform Associate Certification, you could actually take this course from scratch to finish just to enhance or just to hone your skill in Terraform, okay? So I had you in mind, you know, why preparing for this course, okay? So it doesn't matter the level of your knowledge. I actually, um, you know, explain everything in detail, okay? So I will encourage you to take this course and please ensure you share your testimony on LinkedIn, announce it. Also, you can connect with me on LinkedIn. So once you go to LinkedIn Learning and type Terraform Associate, um, yeah, see it here, okay? So just click on it and it will bring you to this page. Now it has initialized, great, okay? So um, let's get to it. Now we need to run Terraform import. And how do we do that? Uh, let me clear this. So the command is Terraform import. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's import the EC2 instance. So over here, I need this uh, instance type and the name. Okay. So once you copy that, Go back and paste it here. Get rid of these double quotes. Okay. All right. And the next thing we need here to basically import this server is the ID. So we need to get the EC2 instance ID. Instance ID. Okay. I'll we'll just copy that because you basically need your resource ID. So what are you know you're using this in azure or gcp every resource has an id so you just need to copy the id right so this is basically the command we need to import our server into terraform so let's run this command okay import prepared now let's see great import successful so this has actually successfully imported our server into terraform's management into terraform state file so let's run terraform uh state list and see what we have here you can see we have that here already great the next resource to import is our AWS security group. So I'm going to copy this as well, get back to this place. And so the same Terraform imports, and then I'm pasting this. Okay. Let me get rid of this. All right. And then let's get the resource ID of our security group. Okay, so to get that, let's go back to the security tab and click on the default security group 
we use for this server. So this is the security group ID. I just copied that. And then I'm going to paste it here, press enter. Okay, let's see if this successful. Wow, import is successful. Right now, when I run Terraform state list, you see that I have two resources here under Terraform's management. So this this um, resources are actually in Terraform state right now, meaning that I can now go ahead to use Terraform in managing these resources I just imported. Okay, you can as well use Terraform state show and uh, list the details of your resource or your resources. All right. Now for you to understand, for you to actually verify that, um, you know, you have, you captured all the parameters of your instance or your security group or whatever you've imported. Let's type Terraform plan. Okay. Just hang on. I'm going to show you something here. Okay, so it is actually supposed to show you that there is no infrastructure change after you run Terraform plan. But if it is showing you that there is, uh, there, sh there will be a replacement just like we have here, then you need to, then you need to really define, uh, you need to check what that is and define it in your resource block and add it there. Okay, so let's see what, um, why it wants to replace. So here, I have VPC ID here that is different from what I have in my resource. So let's check that out. This is supposed to be here. Uh, could that be the reason? Let me see. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is it. Okay. <laughs> because the, uh, yeah, it is supposed to be enclosed this way and not this way. Okay. So let's run the plan again. By the way, I, uh, this auto saves, so I don't need to manually save the changes I make. So let's find out what the issue is. Uh, it is saying that my server will be updated in place because it should actually have a tag named server one. If I take you to my instance and then I click on it, let's see the tag that it is pointing at. So let's go to tag section. You can see we have tag here. Okay. So we need to define that tag in our resource. Okay. If not, it's going to replace and it's going to make some modification, which we don't want at this point. Okay. So let's add that tag. Let's add the tags. Uh, okay. The name is server one. Great. Okay. Let's also check. Um, so it is saying the security group will be replaced. Why? So here I could see the four VPC security group. Uh, and what we have here is the four security group. So yeah, it want to replace that. So why it is forcing a replacement is to now modify it and use the one we've defined over here, right? Instead of the main description it comes with. So we need to use this particular one, right? So I need to define that here. Okay, great. Uh, that is basically that. So let me run a uh, plan again. Uh, invalid reference. Okay. Okay, this needs to be enclosed. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, so run Terraform plan again. Great. 
great and this is actually the state that i i i wanted to see okay so after importing your resources and you run terraform plan and it shows you no changes your infrastructure matches your configuration then you're good to go okay because terraform compares your real infrastructure um you know with the one you've desired with the one that you've actually um you know configured here so it, it compares the two and ensure that they're actually uh, matching each other okay so this is what you should always look out for to see and with this that means what you configured here is actually matching your real infrastructure so you could actually go ahead to also add other parameters because you know when it comes to modification you could just easily modify them because we just have the basic um resource block we should have for our resources so we are good but you can go ahead and add all other you know arguments um that could actually help you to now modify or make some adjustments whenever you want to but what we have currently is okay and we are good to go um Terraform destroy, right? I can actually destroy this. So I can basically just with Terraform command, I can manage my resources, which I've imported. Okay. I'm not destroying this. I just want to show you that. Great. Two to destroy. Great. Because it is now being managed by my Terraform state. So I can destroy this resource. I can modify it. I can generally manage my infrastructure right now because I've imported them. I hope this video was interesting to you. Please give me a thumbs up. Also comment to say thank you or to ask any question you may have. All right. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. That way you get notified each time I publish a new video. Thank you. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye.